Flight Boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's Moon. Flight Boss, the Archangel Uriel. And I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about how spirits can fuck up your experience. Fir spirits can interrupt your experience. They can interact with your experience and they can, they can blind you from seeing things the way that you truly need to see it for yourself. Now, for the most part, what is a spirit? Now, let's talk about spirit first. You have a spirit. You have a spirit just like everybody else have a spirit, right? And your spirit is in the form of a shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas. And it takes on bodies, different, different bodies here and there. And, you know, based upon your spirit, um, in, in each realm, which we wanna, I'm going to talk about, frequency, vibration, and energy, they, they all have their own life process, right? So when your spirit was birthed, or this, that, and the third. Now, when you come here, it's... Now, you're going to see things in your way automatically. But you you start off always receiving. Now, how to build your currency is to resist or cause friction. You see what I'm saying? And that's how you build your currency. And that's how you push out your spirit. For other people can receive your spirit. And things of that nature. Because this is how you give a piece of your spirit. Same way people like to correlate the spirit realm with the flesh. and Because all the stories is about something flesh. Giving a piece of it flesh. And then when it goes to the highest density form of flesh. Or physicality or energy. This is as far as people can perceive. But it's two other realms. Before that, and these realms are not becoming that. These are separate realms. You see what I'm saying? And and the each realm has three three forms of a realm. Has a like the energy realm has a frequency vibration energy realm. The vibration realm has a frequency vibration and energy realm. And even the frequency realm has a uh, frequency vibration and energy realm. But we're gonna get into that now. You know what I'm saying? So you can understand that everything is on its own path, and you don't need to correlate things. Now, as far as your, uh, your spirit, you know the day you came out, your mother, what was the first thing you did? You, you received. You, you breathe in. You didn't breathe out. You breathed in. So that gives you a hint, and that gives you something to point to so you can kind of understand that you're receiving everything. Even when it comes to your uh, five senses, smell, touch, taste, even senses. You think you're looking out. No, you're receiving light, and your eyes is re retracting and reflecting. You see what I'm saying? The only thing you're pushing out is the images within your first eye, your third eye, your real eye, but that's another video. But for the most part, when we want to talk about the um, your your spirit um, is just receiving. You see what I'm saying? Your, your spirit is just burning. It's just flaming. You know what I'm saying? So it is not truly putting out any output unless it has something to interact with. Unless it has something to bounce off with. And this caused vibration. This caused life. You cannot have life without going into something as a spirit. And we're about to get into all that. But this is how, you know what I'm saying? So your spirit is, is stag stagnated in you. It's stag is, is you. And the only way you can even know your spirit is if it's bouncing off something or relating off another spirit or, or something else. And this is how you get to know yourself. This is where they get that saying from that sometimes you have to lose yourself in order to find yourself. Because you're in realms of realities and societies where you you already don't you're controlled by other stuff that's outside of you externally. So let's let's break this down real quick before we get into how a spirit can interrupt your experience. Now, now that we got what your spirit is doing within you, and you know what's your spirit, right? And you know that lets you know. Let's let's just break this down first so we can get into this now. Everything is frequency, vibration, and energy. And you can break down everything under it. Let's go to frequency. What falls down into density under frequency? The highest you will have frequency. So under it, you will have stuff like, you know what I'm saying, sound, gas, you know what I'm saying, ideas, thoughts, um, you know, imagination, uh, spirits, consciousness. All that falls up under frequency. Now, these things have to move, so they have to go in something and once they go in something they go into a realm of reality or pre-existing realm of reality or in within itself to create a realm of reality so it, that's going to always be the void of darkness but it's always going to cause uh what comes second and it's going to be the age of something and, and it's going to be the, the time of something when something starts so once that spirit go in it starts a vibration because it gets to relate and interact with what it just went into you know what I'm saying? So that both of these things together is what's going to create the energy out of it. But before we get there, we have to explain it step by step. 
that wants to go in and start to cause the friction. So this is what creates light. This is what creates things out of something. This is how you know something is not becoming. It's just two things joining to create. You see what I'm saying? Now, as far as this is this is the vibration part. You know what I'm saying? So this comes second, which is time, motion, movement, uh, uh, emotions. You know what I'm saying? Um, and any everything that falls up under vibration, that's that's like liquid, um, all liquids, time. Um, you know what I'm saying? Movement, emotions, feelings, motion in general. So now all them first things that came out of frequency get a chance to move. Now once it go into something, the spirit going in. To, and, and once the spirit go start to vibrate, it becomes an individual spirit. Now, an individual spirit is a soul. So a spirit becomes a soul once a spirit starts to, uh, goes into a realm of reality, a.k.a. once a frequency starts to vibrate. You know what I'm saying? The spirit is alive. The spirit is actually alive now. The spirit is not stagnated in its own, you know what I'm saying? It actually got legs to move on. It actually went into fluid, went into time, experience, motion. Now it's going to need a body. So this will be the astral realm where a lot of people is trying to explain, you know what I'm saying? Now this will be the world it went into, whatever like that, in order to find a body. You know what I'm saying? And this is where bodies and things of that nature uh, come out of because this is what was cre the creation, the imagination, rainbow waters. And things of that nature. So a soul is just a is just a spirit becoming an individual. You see what I'm saying? And, and leaving the pack, wanting to experience its own path and things of that nature. So a soul. So you just look at it. Everybody have a soul, right? Everybody on their own path, right? But everybody ain't got the spirit. You see what I'm saying? But that's another video. Now, when we want to talk about um, what's next is the energy. You know what I'm saying? Frequency, vibration, energy. What is everything that comes under uh, energy? Density, physicality. You know what I'm saying? Um, matter, you know what I'm saying? So whatever matter from the frequency and vibration can become matter and the energy. So you know frequency is the birth part, vibration is the life part, uh, energy is the death part. You see what I'm saying? And they all go through, they all got their own separate transitions also. You see what I'm saying? So now that you understand, um, now that you kind of understand how the process of the spirit and the soul so now and and the body now that you know this is why in all the bibles and and in any way that has a description of a spirit coming to somebody this is why they only could describe it by it coming through the mind or the thought or the imagination because it only could come through the frequency but here's the thing it takes a soul to get it moving to get to get the things moving it takes an individual to get that spirit moving because spirits are beings but like the same way how you are less dense you are in density the higher the density the less physical so beings are like actual concepts actual outlooks actual perceptions themselves these are these are beings and then they come in many different ways come down in filters but that's another video now like I was saying now this this brings us back to now that you understand all this and you understand how spirits come to you and how you understand that a spirit needs to join with some go it needs to go into some type of realm of reality which is an inner world which would be your inner world where your soul resides your fluid your liquid your vibration and that and it would give it life but listen you have your own but listen this is how you know you have your own because you always been receiving so you need to understand that if you always been receiving correlate that with your thoughts and feelings too these are not yours you're receiving them same way you're receiving you breathe in that's the first thing you did smell touch taste sight everything it goes in all three realms so you're receiving in the in the vibrational yin realm and you're receiving in the frequency realm so these thoughts and ideas they're spirits they're thoughts they're ideas they're all in that same frequency line of events this in different densities so I don't care how you want to look at it whether you're religious or scientific or what all your words mean the same thing I'm just the truest science. I'm the truest nature. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. Every thought, thoughts and feelings are not yours. So we live in a universe. So you're you're able to universally pick up other people's thoughts and other people's feelings. This is how you know this. I'm giving you the actual science. You already know that, but you're going to sit here and tell me what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know what I just said. You know you can pick up other people's thoughts sometimes. You know you can pick up other feelings sometimes. You just hate the fact that you got a person like me calling themselves Archangel Uriel explaining how that's happening, and you don't want to believe that kind of shit. You want to go get a book or something like that or a man-made thing, but I'm telling you where they learned it from. 
You see what I'm saying? So it's 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 universal. You can read people because your thoughts are not yours anyway. This is why you can feel other people's vibrations, feel thoughts. Now you're now listen. Vibr yo frequency vibration. You can you can have high frequency or low or, and low and low vibrations or high vibrations or low frequencies. They correlate this with demons and, and angels, whatever. These, these are all spirits. You have lower spirits and higher spirits. That's a different that's a different video, but and then it's not even really that. But it's really just and then you could you're supposed to balance yourself out whether you're going high, midway, or low. But it, you you could be interchangeable too. And what that means is a frequency is just a, something like a, a idea or a thought. A vibration is giving it legs to move on. So if I was to say something like uh, bitch in a night in a nice way, that's a uh, that would be like a, a frequency. You already know what bitch mean, but the vibration of it was low. If I would say uh, bitch in a motherfucking aggressive way, you know what I'm saying? That's that's it vibrating high. So it has a different feeling to it. But the, the frequency was the same. You see what I'm saying? So this is how I'm able to tie words to the same frequency, no matter if it's jail, mail, hell, sell, uh, prevail, fail. It all, it all, these are all the same frequencies, just in different vibrations, depending on how many words is added to some, how some is pronounced, the, the synonym and the, the consonants, you know what I'm saying? The, and the, the, um, you know what I'm saying? And the words, the vowels, the vowels is our universal, come from come from our universal language. The consonants come from our bouncing off of shit and how shit sound based upon what we hit something off. So how we know what K sound like is based upon us kicking something and, and the sound it gave. So we gave it, you know what I'm saying? But the vowels is something that we gave based upon our emotions and feelings. So you, you, once you understand this, you don't, like, you don't, like, people go to school 20 years to learn this kind of shit where me... It's just if you just understand the real world and understand like I hate to say astrology because people will correlate that to like oh people teach a man made sign. Now I know what the fuck. I, I go back to the core. I go back to the meanings and reasonings of, of why they even try to look at things that way in the first place. So the way I see it, I see it in my way. I give it my own name. But I I I go back to the time of how they even came up with the concept to create that in the first place. Then I go see what was right or wrong about that. Like, was that acceptable or was that not? And then I just goes, I was in all these realms. I, matter of fact, I experienced all these worlds. All these realms and all these times. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's different. I just look at shit like, okay, this is a new filter of something. You know what I'm saying? So, but for the most part, like, you start to understand certain things. Now, as far as a spirit being able to interrupt your experience now here's the thing when, when you know your thoughts and your feelings and emotions are not yours you're receiving them right you're receiving them from other people and other things and other places it's going to be based upon the frequency that you're vibrating on so for an example a frequency a thought a spirit you may be in the spirit you got the idea to want to do something you got this imagination right so you start to put emotions and feelings behind it how would it feel and how would it appear to be if I was in that that state that's that's now now you putting it's in a void that's imagination now or whatever like that you see what I'm saying now you need to make sure if that's yours or not you see what I'm saying because you could be enticed by a spirit outside of you a feeling or emotion outside of you you know what I'm saying cuz nine times out of ten that's what it is so when you or say you want to do something, right? You're gonna start receiving all the ideas from every from every being in the universe that was vibrating on that frequency. You see what I'm saying? So any thought that you have, say I want to learn how to I want to learn how to race car drive. Now you're gonna start receiving all the ideas from all the beings that's vibrating on that frequency. Now, based upon how you feel about that and how you imagine uh, imagine that, that's the world you're gonna put that spirit in. So that's that's what the world is gonna start shaping and forming. So that's the all the feeling of the beings and all the worlds that you about to get ready to create you're creating the world now you're starting to create the world now once you put the emotion to feeling so these are the worlds that you put in your spirit in now so you could be putting it in a hell like aka man I can't never do that idea or you could be putting it in a, in a heaven man I'm doing that idea now no matter how it looks in my actual physical form you see what I'm saying or you could be this steady pace with it and balancing it now for the most part when when you get this idea you that's you being used as a vessel you see what i'm saying that's you being used as a vessel because you're taking some another thought somebody else's information whether you know it or not and then you adding you making it a part of you you put it within you once you did that 
Now, your thought is when you receive your, and this is your spirit right here. When you receive a spirit, right, you resist it. Regardless of the kind of world and vibration that was attached to that thought and idea that could jump in, that, that might entice you to put it in your world, or regardless of uh, how, how, free, how high or low that frequency come from. Resist it. And, how you, and resisting, that's not mean and not think about it. That just means developing with how you see it. Don't just accept how it come. Accepting how it come is just you accepting that spirit to use you as a vessel. But when you just take it, and no matter how good or bad it sounds, you just resist it like, nah, it's not like that. And then the thoughts and the feelings and emotions you build upon what you just received, that becomes your thought because you bounced off your own spirit. So that becomes your thought and feeling and emotion. So that get pushed out in the world. You're the creator of that. You see what I'm saying? So it goes through the universe. So anybody who's vibrating on that frequency that you was on will be able to receive that thought. So whatever you bounced off, whatever, if you want to learn how to race car drive, your resistance to that and, and how you made sense out of it and how you do it opposing to other people was that's what you put out in the world. So you could you could control other people. That's how you know you could control other people's spirits and things of that nature based upon your signature energy. Or you could just help people out through the universe and things of that nature too. See, controlling other people's spirits, that goes down into a person trying to become an oversoul and things of that nature and a negative one and things of that nature because when you know that's what you're doing you do it for like selfish things instead of things that help everybody you see what I'm saying so um, and this is how this actually is going on because like say you're a person who your resistance and what you bounced off like say you caught us you wanted to learn how to be an electrician so you did you did and dabbled and caught all these spirits now all your resistance was all your ways of figuring out it yourself Right? So these are all the thoughts you put out in the world. Now say you became a fucking super electrician, right? So the way people say you the way you did it is how everybody is controlling their electricity today, right? Then you are the energy signature of that. So whether you were still here or you was to die, you still control that energetic force. So anybody who do that method of electricity that you applied, you receive power from that. You you are the you are the intellectual uh, god over that. You see what I'm saying? And you live in many different existences now. So you could control many people with your way now, based upon your vibration and whatever world you're in at that time, or you may be still here. You can do what you want with that energy. Now here, let's get into the actual video now because I had to break all that down how the spirit work and why you look at your old Bibles and stuff like that and God always was putting evil spirits on y'all and spirits was always coming to people making people do different things because it's trying to get you to understand how to resist and get a hold of your own spirit because spirits can fuck up your experience now how is this right now you already in society with a bunch of things that's placed in front of you right the, and it's things that's outside of you things outside of you give you different ideas aka different spirits come from these things right and then now you got different feelings about these things aka you then created a world inside of you that's based upon that for your for that spirit to live in you know what I'm saying and create other shit and create life and shit you see what I'm saying now how it plays out in your life is you being motivated to do those type of things you see what I'm saying and you expressing and putting a lot of your time and energy into these things that you're being enticed to do that ain't nothing but an idea or a spirit that you didn't got from somewhere else and now it's using you as a vessel because you didn't made it a part of you 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 didn't gave it emotions and feelings based upon if it was a good thing bad thing or something you love to do or something that's part of you see what i'm saying or or it may it may be a tie to one of your pleasures or something that you obligated to do that's the, the once it goes in it creates the world for that spirit to live in now and it, it's going to start to take shape and form and create something in the physical realm so you're going to, it's going to come to you through a person place or thing or through a way shape or form you see what i'm saying now with the when now once you're doing something like that right with when you're going through these experiences physically you're not truly seeing it from your perspective you're seeing it from the from the spirit that's using you as a vessel because whatever idea that you had and once you experience that right if you have once you start to experience that idea, you you only see what the spirit want to experience. You see what I'm saying? So for an example, you got some say say uh, 
you and your friend going to a concert, right? And then you think this was the best concert in the world, but your friend thought it was the worst concert in the world. Y'all spirits was in different worlds. Y'all spirits was in different places. What you wanted to see with, with the spirit, with the spirit that used you as a vessel to go there, wanted to see what it wanted to see. With the spirit used this person as a vessel to go there to see what it seen, what it wanted to see. You see what I'm saying? When genuinely, if a person knew resistance and knew how to get a hold of their own spirit, nine times out of ten. These people won't even be at a concert. And if they is at a concert, they at a concert with someone with, at a concert that they genuinely want to be at. And not just going somewhere for the sake of, oh, it's, it's this many people about to be there. Or it's this artist. Or, this, these are all things outside of you. A person who know how to resist and have their own true spirit, they're going to go to a, a concert no matter, if, no matter the popularity of the person or not. If it's something that they genuinely resonate with. They don't, they don't care if it's a concert of 10 people. These people will be there. So you, see, you see how it goes down into different different dynamics. You know what I'm saying? So a spirit, so say you are, you may be a person with a, a religious spirit. So you won't even go to certain places. So certain places that got a lot of profanity or whatever like that. When you go to these places, you're only going to see what the spirit that's inside you wants you to see. So if you see a bunch of people in Dalmatian and things of that nature doing wrong things, that's what you see because that's what the spirit is using you as a vessel. So it's not you genuinely seeing because if you was learnt the art of resistance and getting a hold of your own spirit, you will learn the you will you will learn the art of relating. You will learn the art of understanding. So you will learn the art of overstanding. So it it wouldn't even and you have yourself. This is why I say know thyself. Get into yourself. And learn your energies. Therefore, it don't matter who you around. It doesn't matter what they're into, what sex, gender, uh, uh, what religion that they're into. You you will be able to understand them and be able to relate to them and be able to. Uh, agree to disagree and so if, it, if it even lead that far you see what I'm saying and then that's when you truly are in your own spirit so when you think about it like that just think about all the religious people the preachers all the people who are, are enticed by certain celebrities all the people who are enticed by certain uh, things on this earth as far as in society like this kind of job this kind of job to get this to get this this kind of possession just think about all these things and think about all the spirits that's flying through these motherfucking things in order to to, to make you be like hey 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 look at me you see what I'm saying so the spirit can fuck up your experience because if you're not experiencing something for yourself and you're going into this experience based upon an idea or feeling that that came from outside of you then you're only going to you're only going to want and see what was promised to you and the moment that don't happen now your spirit down now you want to go hide somewhere now you want to be now you want to feel like damn I don't know what happened because you in circumstances and situations that was out of your control because the spirit that put your body in circumstances and situations that your spirit inside didn't need to experience. And if you got a weak ass spirit, any other any spirit could come across and utilize your ass. Shit, a motherfucking person who who frequency vibrating higher than yours that's sitting right next to you, they weak ass spirit could be more powerful than your spirit and, and, and take over you to the point that you doing everything in the land of country that they want you to do. Getting into all kind of shit. And, and they got a weak ass spirit. But since your spirit weak and can't even prevail, you'll get took over by them. Your spirit be somewhere in a sunken place. Way in the bottom and shit like, ah! <laughs> while somebody looking at the screen. <laughs> while somebody else is talking for your bitch ass. <laughs> all y'all logical motherfuckers. All the books y'all read and y'all science teachers be talking for y'all bitch ass. Y'all come on the internet talking about somebody else stupid. Goodness gracious. Flight boss bitch. Goddamn. Air. Hey, hey.